What's something only losers brag about? How mean they were to someone. You've heard someone brag about that? Edit. I don't know why I'm surprised by all the stories of these shitty people. My former best friend will admit with almost pride how blunt she can be. Which I feel like kind of translates to this. It's fine to be blunt when the situation warrants. But I've seen her do it and she's just being a dick. I take care of my kid. Cool. You're supposed I ain't never been to jail. What do you want? A cookie. How popular they were in high school. Yeah. But in 1966, Al Bundy scored four touchdowns in a single game while playing for the Polk High School Panthers in the 1966 City Championship game versus Andrew Johnson High School including the game-winning touchdown in the final seconds against his old nemesis, Bubba, spare tire, Dixon. I heard it was five, their parents' wealth. Even worse if they own expensive stuff and act like they worked for it. My friend, he is a college dropout but his dad is a cardiologist, bought his son and his daughter-in-law their house and a vehicle each. Got his son a job in sonography at the hospital he works at. But everyone else needs to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Can't discuss it with him as he says he doesn't like to discuss politics with others. GTFO. A former friend who was an insufferable cunt. Someone stepped on his foot, and he made such a big fuss about his Pradas and how much they cost. I wanted to slap him repeatedly while screaming, shut the fuck up. He couldn't say, let's take my car. He would say, let's take my BMW X6, monsieur. Let's play with my MSI GP72 M7 REX Leopard Pro. For real, why don't they say, let's play with my motherboard, like a normal person. How well they can drink and drive. There's a whole cemetery full of those people. They're the lucky ones. My uncle ran a home for the rest of them year, IQ. There's a reason Hawking frowned upon this type of bragging. I think that was caused by something else. Ah, uh, and group vote. So this is a slightly weird one. But how people get support from their parents financially etc. But brag as if they're self-made or independent. It's okay to get support from your parents. The world isn't as easy as TV and movies show it to be. But acknowledge it lol don't disrespect people who are surviving barely without any help. All the entrepreneurs that had to move home after not finishing college. But they brag about owning their own business and being their own boss from their parents. Living room while blowing up all their FB friends about essential oils. App scores after freshman year of college. SRY, non-American here. App scores. Many schools offer higher difficulty advanced placement versions of classes. You can take a test at the end and if you test high enough many colleges will excuse the corresponding class or give credit for them this year. How many people they've slept with? Always the ones who don't seem to have much else going for them this year. Had the same thought. But to add one piece, not only how many they slept with, but how many they cheated on and got away with it. The funniest thing is when two people like that get together and then one of them inevitably cheats. And then the other gets upset and feels betrayed, like WTF did you expect to happen you stupid cunt. How much drugs or alcohol they consume, especially when you brag to co-workers about it. How much alcohol they can consume compared to everyone else around Themis year. I had a friend who had to interject how much he drank multiple times in each story. So I'd been drinking. And I was hanging out at the bar and this guy came in from down the street. And mind you, I'd be drinking, so I waved the guy over to say hey. We chat for a while and we decide to play pool, lose the pace for the table. After a while, I'd been drinking a bit and we fucking get it. I know multiple people that feel the need to detail every drink in a story. By then, I'd had three gin and tonics. And they were strong man. And four sump and sump nails. So I was feeling pretty good, okay. I don't really care what you were drinking, we're not 1918 anymore. How much weight they lost, the true losers. 
Since we're on the topic, I am down 40 pounds this year. Wow, what a loop. How much of a shit they don't give, why bother bringing it up? Reddit, hey now it's a well-established fact if you get 1 million karma and 100 of each guild type you can. Finally buy the love and admiration of your parents. Totally happens. Totally, an end world hunger maybe, primary school popularity, how they won that swimming race when they were just a sperm is yeah. How little sleep they get, which is basically bragging about how they are going to die, prematurely. Thank fuck, I was worried I was tiring myself for nothing. What frat they were in 20 some odd years ago, what frat they were in, period, no one outside that frat gives a shit, Ab how much they can drink, smoke, eat without falling ill. Like, I'm smoking more than a pack a day and I'm still good in sports, how much they paid for things, especially like cars or clothing. Otherwise bragging about brands, how much they bench press or something similar. That type of bragging feel like unassumed insecurity, how racist they are or how proud they are of being racist. And GT, how much they paid for things, especially like cars or clothing. Otherwise, bragging about brands this is customary in the Midwest. If someone compliments a possession, you must reply with where you got it and at what discount you go it for. We specifically like to brag about how little something cost, talking about their possessions unprompted. Seriously, go fuck yourself. People who boast about their IQ are losers. Stephen Hawking, 2004. Anything at them or someone else. Just the use of the term makes you a loser. If a guy has to tell you that he's an alpha, he's not an alpha. Their I, my personal favorite are all the jocks in high school, who accomplished nothing afterwards. Been to several high school reunions and they still try to bring it up or make jokes about it. Oh yeah you didn't make the varsity team did you champ? Lol, no Brad but you haven't paid rent in 7 years have you champ? Asterisk edit. I know people don't like these kind of edits but it's my first platinum ever. So gotta say thanks to someone. D. Asterisk. I used to buy weed from a guy like this, must have been around 28 years old. He'd always have two or three of his old teammates around. And they would constantly talk about plays they'd made in high school. Getting more misty-eyed and nostalgic the more they smoked. The first time I went over I assumed they'd just watched a football movie together or something. But no, I don't think he ever watched TV. That dude would always be on his front porch, morning to night, whiling away the hours with teary conversation about high school. And it wasn't like he'd missed some big chance to go pro and could pro and couldn't reconcile his current life with the one he'd missed out on. Deep down inside, he knew he'd peaked and there was nothing left for him to do but stand on the downslope forever peering backwards at the summit he'd left behind. If only coach would have put him in in the fourth quarter, they would have been state champions. Not liking popular thing, you know. I used to be a lot more contrarian thinking it was cool but I saw how similarly minded friends of mine were and after a time, didn't really like it or them much at all. How are you that content being so fucking miserable and hating most things just because Life's too short. Having good genes, you didn't have even the slightest say in your genetic makeup, why'd that give you bragging rights? I knew a guy that was most likely a sociopath, psychopath but dumped a girl upon learning that heart problems ran in her family. His reasoning was she isn't perfect. Why would I be with someone who isn't perfect? Quote, this guy was far from perfect himself. Well that's shitty. The girl deserves better jeans lol. Instagram followers, likes. Congratulations on your arbitrary number which has absolutely no bearing on my life. How they go into restaurants and always complain to the manager just to get a discount or free meal. I've waited on futards like this. That they do- ha 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 I'm stupider than you. Smoking, everyone smokes weed, no one cares she smoke, serving jail time, I swear bro I am the best driver when I'm drunk. Yay alrighty bud. 
skipping class in college, you, your parents, and, or a scholarship are paying for you to be there and take classes. I don't understand why wasting that money is something to be proud of. Also getting arrested, I'm just here to make sure I don't do these things. Their parents' wealth. How theirs is the tallest building in NYC now that the WTC has fallen on 9-11. How many chicks they banged. Military service. It's okay to be proud of your service because, hell, you should be proud, but the whole point of all the oaths and creeds and warrior ethos stuff is so you don't feel a need to brag about it. Ah, just boot things have fun. If you're past high school, having sex, how they almost won. High school accomplishment, which is why I refrain from bragging about my amazing four-year varsity wrestling and trophy for most pins from senior year. What about elementary school accomplishment? I made some really good grades back then. Being an anti-vaxxer, ex's partner's failures or someone else you are not in good terms with. Friends, neighbors, etc. If someone did you wrong, cut them off and walk away. Let karma take its nature.